last time out, Buddy finished in the points once again. Now, there was no time to rest as Formula 1 heads to the Sochi Autodrome for the Russian Grand Prix. So, after quite a hectic race in Singapore, Formula 1 heads to the Sochi Autodrome. With six races to go, Buddy needs to dig deep if he wants to improve from his eighth in the standings. This was the scene of his podium last year, but that was in the wet. There's no rain expected for this year, but it's a track he goes well on. Qualifying was a success. He managed to make Q3 for the first time since Monaco. Nice job. So it is time to go racing, six races to go in what has been a rather hectic season for Buddy but he has put in the results in most of the races, he's managed to finish every race and score points in every race, can he maintain that momentum here in Sochi which is a really good track for him, he scored a podium here last year but there's no rain to assist him this time like there was last year which is what helped him get onto the podium but it's a track which often sees things such as safety cars and one thing that there is a lot of this race which is playing into Buddy's favour is there are a lot of grid penalties for this race so it is Valtteri Bottas who lines up on pole position ahead of Vettel in second, Esteban Ocon lines up in third, Buzzy has been promoted to fourth, there's been a lot of grid penalties which include drivers such as Hamilton, Perez, Sirotkin got promoted to the top 10, shows how much grid penalties there are, Verstappen, Alonso and Magnussen all received grid penalties, Carlos Sainz actually got knocked out in Q1, but starts 11th due to all the grid penalties, as you can see there are a lot of them. Van Dorn, Leclerc, Ericsson, Stroll, with Torosso looking out for 9 with Brighton with his penalty, and Ricardo with his penalty, so quite severe penalties for them, rounding out the grid. It was time to go racing around the Sochi Autodrome. So, Buddy is preparing to line up on the grid. Starting on the Hypersoft tyre, obviously because he qualified in the top 10, so that means he has to start on the tyre that he qualified on because he was in Q3. As you can see, they line up on the grid. Keep an eye on the lights. The start sequence will begin as soon as the grid has formed. Be ready with the clutch. Starts have been a weak point for Buddy this year, and it's a long run down to the first one. Can he get the start right? His initial launch is good, but not enough to hold off Grosjean. So near contact through the kink. It's a long run down to the first break, so now he's got Perez down the inside. But he's going to break really late. Down the inside goes Hamilton, but he backs out, and we somehow maintain fourth place without really making any contact with anyone. As you can see, Vettel and Ocon are battling it out ahead, but... We are currently in P4, but we've got a whole bunch of cars swarming all over us. As you can see, we run a little bit wide going into that corner, and that's going to open the door for Hamilton. It's going to be very tricky to fend him off either way, obviously, because he's in a Mercedes. And now we have the inside on Grosjean, but he's unable to make that move stick. Now moving on to lap 6. Okay buddy, better life damage, overtake him. 
Body was catching up to Vettel. Weirdly, Gotti in a Ferrari. It seems that he has a bit of wing damage. And Body goes down the inside. But he's not giving up. And now on the exit of the corner, Buddy's got the outside. But there's a little bit of contact. But Buddy obviously has the more downforce and is able to defend the position. Come on, you can't defend your position by just hitting me out of the way, can you? But Buddy appeared to be kind of struggling a little bit for pace. In the early stages, he could not shake off the likes of Perez and Grosjean. And now, moving on to lap 11, his tyres have kind of gone. And he has to defend from Perez going into the first corner. He manages it. But heading up towards the end of the second DRS zone, he decides kind of to back off because... He's going to be pitting at the end of this lap. So he doesn't put up much of a fight to the force unit. As you can see, he is really struggling for pace. And really struggling to get the power down. So, he comes into the pit in the hope that he can get an undercut. So, he's in. He slows down for the limiter to avoid a penalty. But Buddy was really struggling to fend off the cars behind. I mean, his tyres, he did push quite hard on his qualifying lap, which kind of took a bit of life out of them. And you can see he's changed to the Ultrasoft tyre, which is not that distinguishable to the Hypersoft that he was on. He rejoins at the back of the pack, but... The race was about to get really interesting. Okay buddy, we have a safety car. Kevin Magnussen has retired. He's stopped on track. As obviously you see, we have a safety car. Buddy almost running into the back of Ricardo there. But this is really going to help his race. He's just pitted. Everyone else is going to have to pit. And likely under this safety car. So... Buddy could gain advantage. He has lost out to Grosjean and Perez though, who are right behind. As you can see, the safety car is coming in and it has shaken up the order quite a lot. So now as you can see, he is right behind Grosjean on this restart. He's up to the rich mix and the overtake mode. Heading into turn one, he's going to dive it up the inside of Roman Grosjean. So he is wasting no time getting that position back. The slow in lap really didn't help when it came to losing positions because the cars ahead were going quite slowly. But he's gained that position. Now, as you can see, there's battling ahead. He's having to defend again from Grosjean heading up towards. The end of the DRS straight. As you can see, Sorokin and Gasly are battling it out. Buddy switches back to the inside. And he's down the inside. And has made that move stick. So, obviously, these cars have yet to stop. I don't know why they did not pit. And the safety car. And as you can see, a few drivers have completely messed this up. By pitting the likes of the two Mercedes and Ocon. Now, as you can see, he is right behind... Gasly and actually in a net third right now behind Verstappen and Perez and he used the DRS and has taken P3 from Gasly as you can see he now has Vettel behind now he's got his wing repaired he's got so much more pace so Buddy cannot do much defend off that Ferrari so he decides to just let him go but the interesting thing is Alonso then got up behind and he's on the Hypersoft tyre okay buddy you've got Alonso behind don't lose time and he's on the Hypersoft and buddy didn't really put much of a fight even though they are batting for position buddy is going to have the pace at the end I mean he won't be able to go on the Hypersoft but he's going to have fresher tyres 
Now, as you can see, he's got Grosjean right behind. But Lance Stroll is slowing down. What the f***? That's so dangerous. Why is he slowing down the racing line in a blind fast corner? You can't do that. Almost hit him. Obviously, Buddy not happy with that, and he has every right to be. It was pretty dangerous what he did. As you can see, on lap 33, he comes in for his second stop. Into the pits he comes. He's leading the race, but... That's because he hasn't pitted. So... He's changing to another set of the Ultrasoft. Go, go now. But, obviously better ahead, but he has been undercut by both Perez okay, and Alonso, and also Reikening's ahead as well. But, I mean, that's expected he's in Ferrari. But he's behind Gasly, who's yet to stop in the Toro Rosso. Now, as you can see, he is right behind the Toro Rosso of Gasly. And because he's on the older tyres, it's not that hard of an overtake for Buddy to pull off. He has made that move stick. Now, as you can see, he is right behind Perez. So, he's got the DRS. But it appears Perez has some sort of issue. He broke so early going into that corner. And Buddy has taken the position. It appears Perez has some kind of an issue and it turns out he did because he had to pit. So now Buddy is trying to catch Alonso but that's not what he needed. Honestly these back markers need to learn the way to obey blue flag and not to park your car on the <laughs> racing line. But Buddy was catching Alonso and hoping to take a podium once again in Sochi. That is why he's stressing it so much. As you can see, it's the last lap and he has caught up to Alonso. The two Ferraris are ahead because they've been just ahead because they have been scrapping it out quite a lot for the rest of this race. Now Buddy's got the DRS, but he's got the DRS as well. So as you can see, Buddy's going down the inside and he has taken that position. So Buddy is up into P3 and this is the final lap. So he rounds the final corner onto the pit straight and Buddy takes a second straight Sochi podium. Well done Buddy, it seems like you're something of a specialist round here. Yes, weekend, yes, we did it Thank once you. again in Sochi, wow! So it is a Ferrari win and a 1-2, they must have been absolutely sweating on the pit wall because obviously they were battling it out quite a lot. But Buddy taking a podium once again at the Sochi Autodrome. He did it last year and he's done it again this year. As you can see, here Buddy is on the podium about to taste some willard champagne. Well, it's rose water, obviously, because Russia is an alcohol dry country, so it's rose water instead. But it will taste just as sweet for him as Buddy has returned to the podium. The big question was, can he keep that momentum as Formula One heads to Japan?